sometimes on your journey, you need a little bit of a stopping over place where you can rest and where you can recuperate and you can just kind of take it easy for a while, but not for too long. <laughs> Because if you sit around for too long, well, you know, for lack of a better way to put it, you become too complacent, you may become too lazy, and so then you need just a little bit of nudging in order to move forward. Punarvasu nakshatra provides all of these things. Punarvasu re means returning to a state of good or returning to a state of abundance, or returning to a state of support. And that's exactly what's happening on the cosmic journey we've been talking about over the course of our uh, series on the nakshatras. So you see, following that cosmic chain of events from the first little spark of creation, we had, by the time we got to Kritika nakshatra, the concept of differentiation and just kind of reiterating what that was all about, because that's important to Punar Basu as well, is when you have the mother and the father, then the union of the mother and father creates something that's different, that usually when it grows up wants to be nothing like the mother or the father. So along that cosmic journey, um, what has ended up happening with Arjunakshantra the nakshatra previous to Punarvasu, is one is identifying with perhaps more of the things that one isn't than identifying with the one that one is, <laughs> you know, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, Arja nakshatra can, doesn't always, but it can lead to identifying with the wrong things in the search of trying to find yourself. And if you remember with that particular um, video, and if you haven't, please go watch it, uh, the video on Arjunakshantra, there is a bit of a breakdown after one is pushing up against the resistance or when one finds that one's identity isn't where one is seeking it. And so what happens with Punarvasu is a restoration to a space of going, okay, this is not you. That is not you. Let's identify your strengths. Let's identify your talents. Let's remember who you are. And if you could use a little bit of help with the remembering who you are process, or indeed anything that's going on in your life that you could use a little bit of extra support for, I do offer astrological consultations. You can find a link to those just above if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this anywhere else, it should be in the video or in the section below. So with Pundravasu Nakshatra, there's the nurturing of the strength. There is a gathering together of resources once again. There's a resettling of the differentiation process as one is going, well, that didn't work. This didn't work. This isn't me. That might be me. I'm not really sure of all of these things. With Punarvasu Nakshatra, you get the, the space or the um, time as well to pull those resources together, those little uh, hints that you might have, right? But Punarvasu Nakshatra is also a little bit like a mother bird that nurtures its baby bird up until the point that it needs to kind of be kicked out of the nest and it has to learn how to fly on its own accord. So it's the gathering together of strength. But if you're trying to nurture strength, you're not going to nurture it by giving too much nourishment. You're going to nurture it by going, sometimes things are difficult. Sometimes things are hard. Sometimes we get thrown a curveball. And the soul needs to be ready for those experiences. And that's what's happening with Punarvasu Nakshatra, is the readying of the self for the journey that lies ahead. So quite often with Punarvasu Nakshatra, there are themes that play out of not being ready yet, or things not coming together quickly enough, or feeling that one doesn't have the support that one needs, because one is needing to learn how to stand on one's own feet 
for the forward journey. So in terms of career, uh, if a person's seeking a career uh, and there's a Punarvasu nakshatra uh, factor that's active, they may feel like, gee, I hope this comes together well, or they may even return to a position that they were in before uh, that, you know, they're happy to be back in. Sometimes that happens with Punarvasu as well. Relationships, it's a little bit the same way. Uh, returning is really more of a thing that happens with Mrigashira Nakshatra. What's happening with Punarvasu Nakshatra is returning to a state of strength, whereas Mrigashira is about the reconnection. It's about the um, the dissection, if you want to, and the reconnection. So even though you can have the occasional job position, if you're dealing with the job factor or relationship condition, if you're dealing with the relationship factor where people are coming back together again, it's really much more a space of figuring out who and what one is in relation to those things. And so in order to do that, Quite often, there's a little hint of a challenge, a little hint of resistance, a degree of waiting around for something, but it not coming together as quickly as one might like for it to, and beginning to feel a bit uneasy with the process. So do you have any planets in Punarvasu Nakshatra? Would you like to know? Again, you can schedule one of my astrological services with me through the services page that you'll find linked above. If you're watching this anywhere else other than YouTube, though, that link is going to be down below. Thanks a lot for watching these uh, videos on the Nakshatras. I'll talk to you next time. Bye now.